so guys in this video I am going to show you how to make a sine wave uh, using a Arduino uh, it's not a pure sine wave and also uh, it's uh, it will not go negative it will be only on the positive rail so first of all to the codes uh, uh, we have the sketch here uh, uh, in this sketch uh, we have two four loops uh, first for loop uh, is for increasing the duty cycle of the PWM signal that is I am using the pin 3 uh, you can see this uh, I am using the pin 3 and it will uh, increase the duty cycle of the pin 3 then uh, this for loop will decrease the duty cycle of the pin 3 and uh, I have a delay of X X uh, it will uh, decide uh, uh, what frequency the oscillations will be after all uh, after this all are set up uh, a waveform will look uh, similar to this uh, not exactly like this because uh, I am using an another Arduino um, that is a you know uh, 80 mega 328 as an oscilloscope using uh, the analog voltage read function that is uh, in the examples with the potential divider now to the breadboard uh, we have a uh, Adrena Uno R3 uh, which is connected to my USB of my laptop uh, you can see that uh, uh, a black jumbo wire uh, is coming from the Adreno pin 3 then it is going to the capacitors here where an inductor you can see that this is the black wave this is coming from the pin uh, uh, PWM uh, pin 3 then it is going to the inductor then it is going to the positive side of the capacitor if it will focus yeah okay now you can see that then the negative uh, off side of the capacitor is directly connected to the negative rail of the Arduino actually I have a uh, positive negative rails going to uh, the second IC 80 mega here so I am just connecting uh, the negative rail directly to that IC uh, you can directly connect it to uh, Arduino if you wish then uh, the waveform will uh, look like this but uh, we don't have any use of it because uh, if we load something on the Arduino, it will uh, uh, Arduino will uh, blow off because there is no input protect uh, output protection like uh, resistors or something like that. So uh, we have to make a buffer. Now I am using a battery for this uh, because uh, I have to step up the voltage to 12 volts. That is not needed. Uh, I am making an inverter with, with this, so I am using this. A circuit uh, you just need an op amp uh, then connect the non inverting uh, input in uh, the input into the output of the Arduino that is the PW signal uh, then uh, connect the uh, inverting input uh, into the output then you will get a uh, buffer buffered output from the op amp I use uh, LM358 op amp that is more generic one uh, it will give me a uh, like a buffer so uh, if I load up the output uh, then it will only lo load up the op amp it will not load up the uh, 80 mega so you can uh, use this signal for various purposes uh, like making an inverter or as a function gen I will not recommend it as a function gen because uh, Arduino and all it is not so perfect and clock uh, sometimes varies. Uh, you will get uh, if you have a good crystal then it will be good but anyways uh, you have to make some precision ICs and all there are so many dedicated ones uh, if you are you, uh, making for a, a precision uh, a bench uh, uh, function gen or something like that. Uh, don't use it for that uh, anyway uh, uh, for this the half of the sine wave is missing uh, you can just 
use this concept and uh, you uh, make a PWM signal on the next pin and make up the bottom wave so that's it guys uh, I think hope uh, I think uh, it will uh, make you um, more understand the concept of uh, making the a square wave that is frequency modulated square wave into a sine wave uh, here the duty cycle uh, the duty cycle is modulated by the Arduino uh, when the PWM the uh, both the software PWM and the hardware PWM are doing the same they are modulating the frequency and uh, duty cycle of the of the uh, pin so uh, with using an inductor, inductor can be avoided uh, you don't need an inductor but to get a clear waveform uh, we just need an inductor because inductor always does the current flow so it will be a smoother curve like smoother going up smoother going down uh, yeah, if you have a uh, good capacity uh, uh, capacitor that will be better because the better the capacity the more it can resist the change from one state to other uh, and also I don't recommend loading this up because first of all the waveform will change uh, because the capacitor will get uh, drained up and something like that you just need a buffer then you can load up it uh, load it up that's all for guys and stay tuned for more videos